A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to a new vlog. We had a shoot this morning with Tanya. We shot a few photos for some campaigns. Um, so that was the start of the morning. I also went on a run before that. And now I've been filming a video and she's been out doing emails. And so I'm gonna join her now so I can transfer her the video and she'll be able to work on it. Um, she's helping me with some videos on my French channel and some of the testing basics. And then we are just gonna do emails by the lake and yeah, then we'll come back for lunch. So that's my start of the week so far and I feel it's very productive and exciting and fun and nice. So hopefully we're gonna have a fun week together. Last week I didn't wanna film because I just didn't feel like it. I had lots of boring things to sort out and I wasn't feeling excited or motivated or productive whatsoever. I didn't really feel like sharing anything. So thank you guys for your patience with me of me not vlogging recently, but um, I'm really excited to get back to it. I really love vlogging and I'm planning on doing a lot more of that moving forward as well, at least if you enjoy it. Um, yeah, all right, let's go. I'm just getting ready. going to a barbecue tonight. I look so red or tan. I was at the lake. I'm not burnt. It's brown. It's just I put some oil now so I look a little bit red. But I did put a lot of sunscreens today. Um, and I put some blush right now so that's why I look a little bit pink as well. Um, but uh, we're going to a barbecue tonight and I am wearing, let me know, let me show you. I'm wearing this dress from M Collection last year, from Miriam it's called. And this pouch, this is from a brand called Friends That Rhyme. And my Bi Blanche sandals. I don't think I'll be filming anything tonight because we're going to see friends, David's friends, that he hasn't seen in a while, that I don't really know. So I don't think I'll feel comfortable taking my camera out, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. So, today, um, I was feeling very tired this morning, drunk a lot of heist coffee, which I really like at the moment. Um, we do cold brew with David, um, it's a really great way to make easy coffee and actually I am very sensitive to caffeine but I find that the cold brew somehow doesn't really affect me and it doesn't make me shake or anything, so it's nice. Um, 
So today I have some work to do, to do and to get done. I think this week is going to be nice weather, but like some clouds and just some storms. And so just the perfect weather to uh, also get a few things done, which is awesome because I do have a few projects that I'm working on right now. Um, I will right now what I'm doing is I'm doing some sorry the light is changing a lot it's um, cloudy and then sunny um, but basically what I'm going to do right now um, I'm currently working on an article that I'm writing for <sighs> it's the federal office of the environment here in Switzerland I don't know if that's really the right translation but basically they have a website and like a blog section and they have selected around I think 20 people in Switzerland so like writer, journalists and then just me uh, <laughs> randomly I guess well not that randomly but um, yeah I just feel very honored and um, yeah I'm just very excited about it as scary as it feels a little bit to write you know an article for something like sort of that official um and it's not really something i normally do not something i really offer at all so yeah it's a, a small challenge for me basically what i have to write about is anything based around um the lockdown and how it affected our daily habits and the impact on the environment that it had and how i kind of like see things moving forward from now on so yeah it's really interesting um obviously i do have an opinion about it but i also want to do a little bit more research before i get down to write the article <laughs> We're having a healthy dinner tonight. This says um, melon smoothie. It's not juice because I kept it, the fiber and everything. It's so yummy with some ice. And this is um, bananas, mango, raspberry, and some, and that's it. And just some toppings. on just at the end of our run I went with a friend of mine um, and it started pouring we actually planned on going a little bit earlier and then as soon as I told her oh I'm, I'm leaving in five minutes it started pouring so we postponed it by I don't know 20 minutes half an hour to wait for the rain to stop it still got us at the end so Oh gosh, I think it's the last time I'm going to wear these running shoes. I do get asked sometimes what running shoes I use. These are absolutely dirty right now. Um, but I've been using these for uh, road running for the past year or so. These are uh, the Cloud Rush from On. Um, On is a Swiss uh, running brand. They have this like cloud soul formula or whatever, like cloud tech it's called, um, which is really nice to run on. These are really thin. They're more for racing and training. They're not like the pure racing ones, but they're quite lightweight and quite thin. I really like them. They're very uh, comfortable. I didn't have to break them in. Like they were comfortable from the first run, which it's quite rare I find for some running shoes like usually always takes a little bit of time for um, them to get really comfortable and adapt it to your foot but those I never had to break them in they started um, 
getting ripped here on the side which you know i can still run with them that's great they have this protection here on the front which is really good so overall they hold on very very well um the reason why i'm changing them is because i lost one of the cloud it got ripped off and when i had another pair of um ons before those ones they ripped off quite quickly it's not the most durable one in my opinion um i didn't have the issue of having stones like blocked in between with those so that was great um i used to have that with the old version of these but it took a year for it to rip off so i think I, and i do run like three to five times a week sometimes so i mean these i'm really happy with these um and i would totally order them again because just they were a really good looking pair of shoes before they got all dirty and um very comfortable very very nice to run in these um the reason why i didn't pick those again this time that i ordered a new pair is because i wanted to try a new brand because on the on the website they still had exactly the same one but they raised the prices i think i paid these 140 and they raised them they're exactly the same to 200 yeah i didn't want to order the exact same again i will try the ones that i ordered that, that should be arriving today and if i don't like them or if they're somehow not comfortable or if they don't fit i'll just return them and then order another pair of these or maybe another uh model from another uh, shoe design from on if they had a new version of these i would have picked those but they still had exactly the same ones and although i really like them i kind of wanted to try something different so that's a bit about running shoes and then i use um other ones for trail running which are the scott kinabalu let me show them to you kinabalu rc 2.0 um they exist in pink as well they took a little bit more time to like get comfortable but now i really like them they're not as lightweight and breathable as those but yeah they're they're definitely great running shoes and i'm really comfortable in them i go hiking in them as well so for now i'm gonna keep them because they're still okay they're not too worn out i have had them for not even a year yet so Maybe next year. I usually change my pairs of shoes every year or so because before I used to change them every six months, but I do definitely run a little bit less, I think, than I used to. So, and since now I have a trail one and a road one, you know, they don't get as broken down as fast. Maybe actually it's been two years that I had those, or a year and a half. Yeah, it's really time for me to change them. All right, I'm gonna go shower. I'm drenched. I'll make some iced coffee and I'm gonna go get to work. So um, I was working and I just got a parcel delivered and it's this very long dress. This is from a brand called Bastet Noir. It's a very small brand um, that produces uh, fairly and ethically and I wanted to try something different from the other clothes that I normally wear I know I personally don't really wear a lot of patterns I love I, I love like just simple colors no patterns um, but I really wanted like a, a long summer dress this one is slightly long that's why I have a belt here and I will probably get it tailored or do it myself because it is a bit long here it's like good length around ankle but um, because I put the belt but without the belt it's like really almost down to the floor so really nice has this button in the middle and the slit uh, which is very lovely it's a very nice it's very nice like beige nude color and it has this very soft slightly ribbed texture that um, is very light like a blouse um, very nice and comfortable and it has these elephants on it 
Um, so yeah, I really, really like it. I think it's just a great piece to throw on in summer and yeah, it's a full outfit and I really, sometimes I just, I love dresses but I like easy dresses that you can just throw on and you don't have to be so careful about what you wear underneath not aren't see-through. A lot of my summer dresses are white or beige and they're a bit see-through so I really like this one. Um, very different from what I normally wear, I feel. I have some like flower stuff, but this is very unique. I really like it. I think it's great. It needs a little bit of tailoring for, for it to fit me great. I'm gonna take this to Spain. I am going to the lake for my lunch break. I wanted to show you how I styled this dress, at least for now. Um, definitely needs some tailoring. So I am wearing a leather belt which I bought secondhand recently. Um, I've shared it in one of my latest vlog. And then I have my collective canvas sneaker. So as you can see the dress is not quite white. It's like a cream color and it contrasts really naturally with the red. It's not like white and red, but it does it does work with white shoes, so that's really nice. And then I have my all-time favorite tote bag from the slow label looks all funky now because there's my water bottle um and then oof, sorry for um here i have two necklaces the top one is from brune the label this one is from stillness um and then my sunglasses these are from monk and i usually wear the round ones but these one have like kind of a reddish tone. Uh, so I thought they'd suit with this very, very well. Um, it has this like angled frame. I really like it. It's very subtle. You can't see it if you don't pay attention to it. Hi guys, good morning. Um, so, I've been working on um, the article that I had to write this morning. Um, so, I'm really happy. I'm almost done with it. I just need to do a few corrections. Uh, but I also got delivered a lot of parcels this morning, which I hadn't been delivered anything for a really long time. And then suddenly it all came at once. And I'm waiting for one more. But um, these are some things that I really wanted to share with you guys um, that you may see in other videos as well um, and yeah before actually you see this vlog you will have seen um, but so I first received some new bikinis and I received those very cute bikinis from Julien uh, this is a Swiss brand and they produce everything in Portugal and it's made out of ocean plastic and um, I did a video this week about um, ethical swimwear, sustainable swimwear so you'll be able to find more about sustainable swimwear in that video if you're interested in looking for some swimsuits this year because I'm presenting a few brands and then I received my new running shoes which I got from um, a brand called Altra. You may be familiar with them already. I used to wear zero drop shoes um, in the past and I recently stopped because I wasn't able to find uh, zero drop shoes that I really, really liked and that felt accurate for what I was doing. Um, I actually tried a pair of Altra for trail running once and I didn't really like them um, they were a bit heavy they didn't really fit properly they didn't hold my foot so I had to return them but I got this pair for road running and I'm really excited to try them they're really comfortable they have a lot of space in the toe section so if you have like wide feet it's really great because it you can really like spread your toes which is really healthy um, I don't have really wide feet but I still really like not being constricted, I think it's called. So yeah, 
I think, well, these are beautiful. I could definitely see myself wearing them with like a pair of jeans and a t-shirt. Um, they're very white. This is a um, like fabric. So if it rains, they're gonna get really dirty and I wouldn't get those uh, to run on trails. These are really for pure road running and if possible when it's dry outside because I guess they're gonna get dirty very quickly. I think you'd be able to wash them, put them in the wash. So I might do that uh, if they get dirty. But I just really loved the white ones and I thought, okay, well, let's give them a try. Um, they're quite lightweight um, and they have a good cushioning. So I'll try and run with them. I'll see how it goes. But so far, I really like them. I'm going to go for a run later today to try them out. Um, but yeah, it's a good, good size and really check the size chart with these because they tend to size, like running shoes, I tend to have to go up quite a bit with my sizing. Like I got this in a size 38 Europe and I'm not really a 36 to 37. So you have to go at least one size up, I would say, if not two. So really make sure you check that before ordering. Then I received this dress, which is from the Slow Label. Um, it has this attachable back. Really love it, so pretty. It's quite long, but not down to the floor. It's like just above the ankle, which I think is very flattering. And it's very nice um, on any like body types because the problem I have with long dresses is, as you saw yesterday or the day before, um, dresses tend to get too long for me. So yeah, and this is like a really not see-through material. It's a very basic fit. You could wear something underneath it. So I feel like this is just going to be a really great black dress. I can wear a lot. I don't really have any other black dresses. I have one from Davinius, which I shared in my summer dresses testing ethical basic episode, which is nice, but it, I feel like it got stretched out quite a bit and it doesn't isn't really adjusted to my body anymore. Um, I find that black when it's not really like a deep black, it tends to turn slightly gray. It doesn't look chic at all. Um, so yeah, this one is a better material I feel. It doesn't crease that much and it just falls very nicely on the body and it can be dressed up and down. I could totally see myself wearing this with a pair of sneakers um, as much as with sandals or heels. Um, yeah, really, really love it. It's not too chic or too casual. It's like the perfect basic black dress in my opinion. And then if I ever want to make it short, I can always tailor it a little bit shorter. And then the last thing I received, which I'm even more stoked about, let me remove this dress, is my swimsuit that I designed with um, Lilia the label. So for those who have been following me since about a year, uh, you know that last year I did a design with Lilia the label for swimsuit and it was just such a great experience. Yeah, we decided to do it again this year. So this is the design I did. You will see it also probably in this week's episode about testing basics. So I'll link it up here. But it's just the perfect fit. Um, I'm just so, so happy with it. And I feel like it's going to be such a long lasting piece. So yeah, I'm so happy I finally received it today and was able to share that with you guys. I will link everything down below as well. So you guys can check it out if you're interested. Um, we are producing a limited amount of the swimsuits. All right, um, I'm going to go work some more and then I'll go have a lunch and run with my mother. Just got ready uh, for a run. I think it's quite warm outside. I am wearing this uh, sports workout sports top. Let me open. This is the one from uh, Organic Basics. Really love it. I also have it in red. And then these shorts are from Thinks. They're normally period running shorts with like a period underwear but I I'm not on my period I just really like these shorts so I wear them no matter if I'm on my period or not sometimes and then my new shoes I'll try them and see how if they're comfortable so I just got back from um, the run with my mom I'm drenched now I actually went into the lake afterwards 
all dressed. Um, so yeah, my clothes are wet. Um, and I'm gonna change after, but I, I'm really hungry. It's 2.30 and I only had a melon smoothie today. So um, I'm having like a really nice lunch. I make I made this um, really big salad. I was craving something salty, so I made this salad, this like homegrown lettuce from my mom's garden with some of her kale, uh, half a cucumber, so a can of beans, uh, red kidney beans, and then there's uh, half a block of um, smoked tofu, half an avocado, and then some seeds and dressing is just like tahini, lemon juice, hemp seed oil and um, olive oil. I have an appointment with Swiss Radio right now um, to do like a little interview for the radio. Um, I had the interview with Swiss Radio. Um, I don't know how many of you guys are from Switzerland, but um, you'll be able to listen to the interview that I took part in. It was really interesting, it was really fun. But yeah, I'll share a link with you guys. It will probably be out by the time this video comes out. So I'll um, share a link down below for anyone who'd like to listen. Um, it's in French though, so just be aware of that. Um, but yeah, it was, I think it's the first time I'm on the Swiss radio. I was on Swiss TV once um, in 2016 or 17. So now I'm done with that. I'm gonna go to the lake, I think. It's just a really warm, hot, beautiful, sunny day. So I'm just gonna go and swim and chill and read. And tomorrow I think it's gonna get like cloudy and stormy. So I'll be doing more work tomorrow, but I'm quite happy with how far I got today and the few things that I did finish. So and that's the dress. Let me show you actually, because I didn't really properly show you, but that's how it fits. It's a very simple fit. When I walk, I sometimes I like to just put it in there so that I can just like do big steps because if it's like down, I find that I can just only do that sort of steps and it kind of like, I feel like I'm, I'm walking a bit like, I mean, that's exaggerated, but <laughs> yeah, but it's really nice. Um, and I'm not going to get it tailored. I think it's perfect length. I find it flattering for some reason, even on shorter bodies like mine. <laughs> um, and it's very not usual for me to wear like all black. So I wore it with like white sneakers and um, a white tote bag. All right, I'm just gonna bring some water with me and then go to the lake and enjoy the last bits of sun for today. It was a good day. It was a fun day of work. All right, let's go. So since we don't have any zucchini growing in our garden, balcony garden, I decided to use the blossoms and I filled them with vegan mozzarella and tofu and basil and garlic to make sort of a, a ricotta cheese stuffing or filling. And then I just had this other zucchini, which is not from the garden, it's from the shop. And uh, I added some more and tomato sauce. So we're gonna try this and then I made, woof, it's hot. Made some quinoa and a big salad, a bit like the one I had for lunch today, uh, except there's no tofu in this one. Good morning. Um, oops. So I went on a run this morning and then I went for a dip in the lake. Um, I was there with my friend Chloe and it was really good. I feel very tired. I didn't hear my alarm. I mean David's alarm this morning. 
So I woke up super rushed and stressed out and it was just, I didn't really have time to quite wake up and I was on the run and it was just a little bit much, but um, it's done now. I went into the lake, got all fresh and sorry, there's construction outside, it's a bit loud. Um, and I took a shower now and I'm just going to do my skincare and I wanted to show you two products that I've been trying lately um, that I use quite a lot this summer. So the first one is this Glow Cocktail which is a serum from the brand called Mosa. This is from Your Green Boutique website um, and this is a Elimating anti pigment pigmentation pig, and anti pigment. I can't say this word. Eliminating anti anti pigmentation serum. All right, I think you got it. But um, it's there's like fruit in it. It's vegan, um, cruelty free, natural cosmetic. So I thought I'd give it just a try. I also use the uh, sunscreen from them. I haven't tried the face sunscreen yet because I'm still using this um, Look Stay Cream SPF 30 from Eileen. But um, once this one is done, I also have like the face SPF 30 from this brand. And uh, I've been using the sunscreen for the body, which is 20 SPF uh, from Mossa, um, which it doesn't. It's not sticky. It doesn't quite get into the skin at first, but then it just, it doesn't leave like, I don't know. It just, you can see it a little bit at first, but then it just penetrates the skin. And I have gotten a certain burn and I use it every time. So that's the serum. Um, it's like this white, it's quite shimmery. You can't see it, I guess. And I use this usually in the morning to give my face a little bit of a glow. It's very nice, it's glowy, but it's not like when it dries, it's not like sticky or heavy on the skin. So that's really nice. And then one other product that I've been trying out, which I use mostly in the evening, is this um, Noori Sun Repair Serum. So yeah, that's more like my morning serum. And that's more my evening serum because I spend a lot of time outside sometimes during the day. So I wanted to try it out and I just feel like my skin this year because I've been using proper sunscreen and I've just been really careful about hydrating my skin whenever I come back from the sun. It's just not being so damaged by the sun. I don't really have dry skin. I don't think you need two serums, but if you'd like something specific, I guess like that's just usually I just use one um, you could totally use this in the evening as well or just use this one and um, so yeah these are two brands I've been trying there's a few other products that I will be trying from them but I just haven't opened them yet because I have other ones to finish first so I'm just gonna use my daily moisturizer and sunscreen you really don't need much. Um, it's just one pump. I do. And what I like about this one is that it really does get into the skin. It does not look white or anything like that. So, yeah. It's a very expensive uh, product, but I just have been extremely happy with it. And it looks really glowy right now, but I will get more into the skin and won't look as loyal although I do not mind this amount of glowiness in my life. I just all I do in the morning and then I'll just do well what I do also is I have this lip balm, tinted lip balm, which I usually use as a lip balm um and as a blush. So it's like my morning skincare and makeup and then I do use um, just a little bit of uh, brow gel 
there you go all done i don't do anything for my hair i've been washing my hair even less in the summer so usually about once a week um it does get into the water every day sometimes multiple times a day so it get rinsed out a lot but i don't wash it with shampoo as often as i do in the winter um so this morning i'm catching up on emails i have so many to get through so i'm tackling that this morning it's 10 a.m so i'm gonna do that probably for until lunch uh another two hours or so and then i'll be filming the video of testing ethical basics swimwear which is something that so many of you guys have asked for and this will already be up by the time you see this vlog so it's actually the latest video so i'll link it down there or up here and yeah that's the plan for today it's gonna be a big day but it's cloudy outside so i don't feel too bad working a lot today like i'm actually i think it's the perfect weather to just be working away before the weekend so i can get as much done as possible and just sort things out i have tackled my email feels really good it was long overdue i just had some melon and now i am um, gonna have some lunch um this is like a quinoa salad there is like a sort of um stew or sauce that david made yesterday that has i think tofu tomato sauce some wild garlic pesto in it it's very yummy and then on top i added more fresh tomatoes and also some basil from the garden some tahini olive oil and lemon juice and this is vegan mozzarella which is made out of almonds and it's not bad it's really not bad you have to season it a little bit or mix it with something else but yesterday in the filling that i did for the zucchini blossom it was really good We are going on a morning run. It's gonna be my second run with those shoes, which so far I'm really pleased with. We are making pizzas tonight, some vegan pizzas. Yesterday, David really wanted some pizza for dinner. Um, and so we decided to make some tonight um he got and bought some daw sometimes he'll make his own but this time we just bought some and uh yeah just finished prepping one also having a big salad along with it mm. and this is the pizza um this one has vegan sausages mushrooms zucchini eggplant red peppers olives and vegan mozzarella and tomato sauce so david and i are going to yoga this morning last week i went by myself um and there's a bunch of friends who come as well <laughs> Et la vidéo. So, uh, we just got back from yoga, had some melon smoothie. Um a lovely day we're going to have lunch at david's parents a bit later today um but now 
I'm just chilling a bit. I think I will tidy up the apartment a little bit as well. And I'm just gonna sit down now and read a bit. All right, so um, I have been also this week working on a blog post because I am doing weekly vlogs and I thought, you know, like why not do also like weekly blogs because I don't vlog every week. And so it would be a great way for you to have a little bit of an update from me and just like a quick um, or maybe sometimes longer update and check in uh, weekly on you know what's been happening, what I'm up to, uh, anything that I want to share with you guys. So like a new ethical brand or a new piece that I'm trying out or a podcast that I discovered, the book that I'm reading. All that sort of things to share a little bit of my weekly inspirations and yeah, just like a weekly update and I've been doing that on my website which I have been doing with Squarespace. So for those of you who don't know what Squarespace is, it's a platform to create your own website or online store and I've been using it since um, January and I really really love it. It's super easy to use. I do receive some questions about it and you really do not need to have any sort of knowledge about computer and web design and any of that stuff to create a beautiful website with Squarespace which is awesome and you can customize it, personalize it as much as you want. It has beautiful professional templates. So here is for example my, um, my blog for this week. Um, I wrote a little bit of an update and I shared some photos of the week so like a little bit of inspiration and mood board and then I also added my videos that I uploaded that week so in case any of you guys missed them uh, they're also on my blog if you want to give it a try and see if you like it because a lot of people come up to me and tell me oh what do you think Chloe um, is it worth it are you happy with it and in my personal experience I'm really really happy with it but I think it's awesome if you try it, so you can go to squarespace.com, get a free trial, see if you like it, if you enjoy it, if it suits what you're looking for. And then if you want to launch your own website, you can go to squarespace.com slash and with that link um, that I will put down in the description, you will get 10% off your order of a website or a domain name. So yeah, that's all for this week. Let me know what you think about the weekly blog post. I think it's a really cool way for like me to have sort of a diary thing where I can share with you guys. I'm open to your suggestions and feedback and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!